Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to practice a weldment tools and we will create this simple structure with the help of weldment tools. I hope you like it. So let's see how to make this one with the help of weldment tools and 3D sketch. Now let's go to 3D sketch and here's convert entity and uh, let's select these lines and make it convert. This is for reference purpose we created. Today we are going to take a simple example in weldments and we will see how to use weldment tools and create a simple structure part. Plain white unit I'll keep millimeter now. Right click here and select weldments. So now here we have weldments. Click weldments so that we will enter in weldment environment. First we will draw a 3D sketch. So let me choose 3D sketch and here what I will do I will choose right plane right plane normal now here I will draw fourteen hundred ten millimeter escape again choose here line this point 720 millimeter and come up to and connect with this point again choose select the center point and up to here right click select ok A smart dimension let's define the angle 55 degree okay now distance from here to this point 580 millimeter now up to this sketch is fully defined finish now turn it's time to add further so start from here just press tab key and you will see the changes in arrow so we I'm going to our opposite of the arrow and let's say 700 millimeter enter now again I'll go upside no we need to change tap upward enter and connect here select this relation maybe some select this point 700 millimeter enter okay now we will start from here or let's say escape and uh, now we need to draw here so what we will do line and uh, we will start from here this point seven hundred millimeter connect now let me connect from here to here delete this relation delete this line and again draw it make sure you are moving along with arrow so that you will not get any Okay, let's apply dimension better option. Okay. From here to this point. This is the last point we are going to. Now, let me 
show you the all dimensions now see this is the our main structure line and this time we will choose this point and i'll go along with axis again i'll put tap key and this point if you saw any over defined things just simply select and delete the relation and you will come out of the override relation finish and let's go to structural member now here we will choose and see inches we will try inches now here i'll choose rectangle tube size 4 by 4 into 0.25 inches now here we will select first and second profile and you will see now we will create new group in new group i'll choose these three lines but here one problem this is tapered you will see so we will define angle we choose the angle this in between profile is 55 degree now that's it okay look now let me choose trim entity now we want to make body trimmed so one and here board boundary body two now here you will see now for each part we need to apply we choose corner type meter this one and trimmed boundary this one anyone vice versa that's not a big deal okay now here let's try this two first group one group two second group okay and here we can keep like this this is also a kind of a structure because we want to show something more here this all vertical lines comes in one shot okay but here we need to trim some more things so choose trim entities bodies to be trimmed one two three four and here i'll choose and trim now here bodies to be trimmed we need to choose this body we want to trim and bodies for reference purpose okay and select this now see this yellow body going to trim and this orange body is the boundary the trimming perform under this boundary let's say okay okay now let's i'll show you the corner now look now here also see it's trimmed from the inside the structural member the same body we are going to take group 2 let's say ok and we will see anything we need to do okay here also we need to choose the same operation bodies we need to trim select and trim one two three four 
okay and bodies for reference purpose one two three four let's say okay now I'll show you see the boundary going to finished here it is not going inside anymore so this is how we created a simple thing let me hide this 3d sketch now here I'll show you some more thing end cap let's say this face now we will keep outside thickness 5 millimeter and ratio thickness ratio it is asking you ratio so ratio keep always 0 so that you will get the equal if you saw 0.5 now see this is like this 6 12 radius now see if you want to make equal for this let's say parameters face thickness 5 millimeter and here keep 0 and corner 12 millimeter okay now see this is equivalent to the profile so this is the simple tutorial how you can create a weldment structure in SOLIDWORKS let's say that's it so don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS thanks for watching